I've owned this mailbox for 20 years and it took me that long to figure out why it's got two doors on it. Everything that's going on right now, it seems like uh, everybody's thinking about them themselves first and, and their core units, their families, and I get that, but at some point we've got to think about everybody else and maybe the essential services that are, that are given to us day in and day out, things that we overlook. I think there's a lot of unsung heroes that are gonna come out from all of this and I think about uh, I think about last week I was in Kroger and there was a young man and my wife and I went into Kroger's uh, in the evening hoping that the crowds were down and they were and he had two pallets of water that he was trying to restock the shelf with gallons of water and I looked at that young man and he's probably got a lot more energy than I do at his age but he just looked beat and so I said hey how you doing he said this has been a long long day I said I feel for you but I appreciate what you're doing we got people that are stocking shelves uh, we've got I know it at my office uh, we have truck drivers that bring our raw materials to us and then ship it out to uh, our customers and we're in the food industry so it's really important right now and our customers are seeing a lot of high demand for their product and so we've got to get product out to them and the truck drivers are working overtime to get that done and uh, that's greatly appreciated but then I was thinking about our, our mail carrier and I don't even know our mail carrier to be honest well I feel like I know her but I don't know her name uh, I'm probably gonna learn it now but usually it's just a, a wave and a hi and a smile type thing whenever uh, she I'm in the driveway and she happens to hit the mailbox but if you think about it, all the stuff that they've got to touch. Now, uh, you know, they talk about whether things can be cross-contaminated from packages and cardboard and, and all this. And I, I don't really know about that. All I know is even on a good day, if you're the mail carrier, you've got to touch a lot of things that other people have had their hands on. And you just don't know what's on it. So I thought about this. In the morning yesterday morning and I wrote this note down real quick and I took out uh, the bottle of cold Clorox wipes and went out there and I thought you know what uh, she can have the front door and I'll take care of the door on the back of the mailbox and I washed wiped it all down uh, cleaned it up both doors the inside the outside and left the note that you see in the picture and at the end of the day the note was still there but so was my mail and I, I can think about uh, a friend of mine whose wife is a mail carrier and I get a lot of I, I usually kind of drill her a little bit or ask questions about what it's like to be a mail carrier and all this and uh, and there's some really weird stories behind <laughs> behind that occupation so uh, it's just something that I thought was kind of common sense and we got to think about others during times like this. Another thing we did, just as a, a little side story, is uh, yesterday at work uh, I had a sign put up and all of our truck drivers that come in, whether it's receiving or shipping out, um, we're giving them what we call vendor bucks. Uh, it's they, they look like the old time McDonald's uh, dollar coupons but it's got a barcode on it and you can go over to the vending machine and you can push them in the vending machine and get something out of them so they're each a dollar we're giving each driver two of those when they come in just so they can get a drink and a snack and just a little note on the sign saying how much we we recognize what they're doing for us and we really appreciate it and how important it is that we supply the food uh, chain in the United States and they're a big part of helping us get that done and I forgot this point let me add this when I thought about handing out those those coupons for the vending machine uh, I asked our HR lady I said could you call our vending company and see if maybe they'd be interested in partnering on that she called me back less than five minutes later and said I called them and they said they're in for 50% so they reduced our cost on it to 50 cents 
per dollar given away, and they're picking up the other fifty per, uh, the other fifty cents. And that, the fact that they didn't even hesitate to do that, just indicated to me it was a great example of how everybody's coming together, and this stuff, doing something for others, is just so obvious right now. It's starting to smell like America again. That's all I've got to say. So anyway, I just wanted to share the note that I put in the mailbox yesterday. And if you would, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. That's all I'm going to ask. I'm not asking you to ring the bell or anything like that. Just hit the subscribe button for me, and I appreciate it very much.